year everyone wow we are in the year 2021 we thank god for the grace he has given us to be alive today thank you jesus so it is time for us to have a study please get your bibles let us pray lord jesus we thank you Thank you, Father, for the grace you have given us to see this brand new year 2021. Thank you, awesome God. Thank you, our very faithful God. Thank you, our everlasting God. Thank you, Jesus. So, Lord, as we're about to listen to your word, speak to us in the name of Jesus. Give us an understanding of your word. Thank you, Abba, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed amen our topic for today is in the beginning in the beginning beginning means new it means afresh so we just left year 2020 and we are in a new beginning we are in a new year 2021 2020 was filled with fears and lots of uncertainties there was the fear of the deadly coronavirus and there were lots of uncertainties in the past year 2020 there were days that weren't sure whether we'll go to school or not there were days we couldn't even go to church but we thank god because all that is behind us and we are in a new beginning it's another year and jesus our father is in all beginnings jesus is in all beginnings you don't know that oh let's go to our text jesus is in all beginnings let's go to our text john chapter 1 verse 1 to 5 john chapter 1 verse 1 to 5 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was in the beginning with god all things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it if you look again at the verse 1 of the chapter that we just read, you will see that the word there is with a capital letter W, which shows that it's a noun. So that word there is talking about Jesus. And it says, in the beginning was the word. So in the beginning was Jesus. Jesus is in all beginnings. And we're in year 2021, a new beginning. Jesus is in this year. So what are we to know as we go forth in this year 2021? What are the things we should do? The first thing that we should do, the first thing that we should know is that in this year 2021, we need the word. We need Jesus. We are in a new year. We need Jesus. Jesus is in all beginnings and we need him in this new year. We need Jesus in this new year. Jesus is light. Jesus is everything. He has gone into this year 2021. He knows everything that will happen in this year 2021. So as his children, we should know him and know him more. We should draw closer to him in this year 2021. We should know him more than we've ever known him. And how do we do that? How do we get to know him more? That takes us to our second point. We can know him by studying the world. So our second point is that we need to have the word in us we need to have the word in us and this time around the word is the bible 
We need to have the word of God in our lives. We need to know the word of God. We need to know the mind of Christ. And how do we know God? How do we know his mind? By reading his word. By meditating on the word of God. By listening to the word of God. You know, the past year 2020 was full of fear. There was lots of fear in the past year 2020. And the antidote for fear is the word. The cure for fear is the word of God. So in order not to come into this new year with fear, we need to know God and we need to have his word in our hearts. The word of God is light. The word of God is light. We need the light of God in this year 2021. We need the light to what to brighten all the darkness of this year 2021. And like I said, that the antidote for fear is what? The word of God. And when you have the word of God in your life, it builds your faith. The more you read the word of God, the more you know the word, the more you know Jesus who is the word. Your faith in God will be built. So this year, 2021, know the word. Know Jesus. Jesus is the word. And have the word of God in your heart. Have the word of God in your heart. And at the beginning of this year, our that system, our daddy, the bishop, made a prophecy and said, this year is a year of surprising victory. This year is a year of surprising victory. In order to experience that victory, you need to know the word. The word is Jesus Christ. You need to walk with Jesus Christ this year, 2021. You need to pray to him. You need to talk to him in prayers every day. And you need to get to know him by studying the word of God. Let the word of God be in your heart. The more you study the word of God, the more you know the word of God. So study the word of God so that you can know more of the word of God. Study the word of God so that you can know the word. So that you can know Jesus who is the word. Let's go to our memory verse. Our memory verse is John chapter 1 verse 1. Our memory verse is John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. A memory verse once again. John chapter 1 verse 1. It says, In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you because we know that you are the word. We pray for the grace to study your word so that we can have your word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Thank you, awesome God, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So children, remember that this year 2021 is a year of surprising victory. It's a year of surprising victory. In order to have that victory, in order to be victorious in this year 2021, you need to know the word who is Jesus and you need to have the word in your hearts. You need to know Jesus because he is the word and you need to have the word of God in your hearts. Have a great year 2021. Have a great week. I love you. Bye. Oh